So what's up, y'all? This your boy Chris, uh, aka that boy Def. Um, today I'm about to show y'all how to properly set up a, a recording um, session in Pro Tools 12. Most people they uh they just go in, they just get their tracks down, they don't know. Well, they just they just put the tracks in, they don't know that they need to put like a, or they need to have uh inputs, uh aux inputs in uh in a master track, and half the people don't even know how to use the uh, the aux tracks. Anyway. I'm just gonna focus on one thing. Um, as you see, I already got Pro Tools 12 pulled up. I'm gonna go ahead and label this test. Label this test recording session. I'm gonna also show you how to make a template too. Alright, so I got it on I'm gonna put it on sixteen bit. Um and location is pretty much where you want to put it. So right now I got it going to my desktop. Anyway, so let's go ahead and create. You see you got the um got the edit screen pulled up. That's the mix screen. So at this point right uh before we even Drop anything in that we wanna. You know what I'm saying some most of the time it's gonna pop up like that's gonna be open and this gonna be open. It's just showing y'all your clips. They showing y'all your tracks. I don't use only time I use is when I'm doing like real when I'm mixing. Anyway, you wanna press Control Shift N and uh for Mac is Command Shift N. You wanna go uh make your your audio tracks. You can choose however many audio tracks you want. I know I'm gonna start out with 16, and if it if if it get greater than that, then I just add some more. Uh, aux tracks, I do stereo. <clears throat> I do four of those, and then I do four mono uh, tracks, four mono aux tracks. And then your last but not least, you want a master track. And you want that to be stereo. Because the mass track is what's going to control everything that's going through here. Now, mind you, this might not seem like a lot. But as soon as I, as soon as I press create, this whole screen going to be full. So let's go ahead. See, got my 16 tracks. Got my four stereo tracks. Stereo output. Uh, well, stereo buses. Then I got my four, my other four mono buses then it also got my master I'm gonna pull up the mix window and that's how it should look everything should be in this one probably might be in in too you ain't gonna be able to record out of that one you gotta take that one and manually change this one to in one and boom and that's how you know if it's stereo or mono this is stereo because it got its left and it's got its, its right. Same thing with those. And these are the monos. So, that's how you properly set up a, um, a session ready for record. Uh, Alright, you guys. Uh, on this one, I'm going to show you how to pretty much create a template after, uh, after we just created a, a full recording session. You see, I got it uh tied up right here or titled right here and as you can see i got one through 16 channels audio channels then i got one through four aux stereo uh tracks and i got five through eight mono stereo tracks and i got a master track uh but pretty much pretty simple all thing you do is go to file then you go to um, save as template and then you you want to go to category you can go to record mix songwriter whichever whichever category you want to do. or you can also create your own uh, category how uh, you can do that put a i'm gonna put c s b vocal recording how you want to do that and just creating my own category as you can see, it's got name test, which is the title that I got on it. 
test recording session. So you can also select select the location for the template, like you want to put it on your desktop, you want to put it in storing inside Pro Tools files or whatnot. Um, and also, if you have media, if you want to include media into it, that's if you already have media that's already in here, like as far as um, like if you got an MP3 already labeled, or if you got a um, <clears throat> or you got some vocals that's already in there, like a like a signature or something that you want to keep in there, you can also keep that up in there. Um, with that, you just select all it and then it'll stay on it. Then you just go to OK, and to confirm that you confirm that you got to save, you just go to create new. You want to go to create from template. Go to your category. There go my category. The one I just created. Go to that one. Test recording, and it's just gonna pull it right on up again. All right. So they're telling me I gotta. So I'm gonna do number one. And it's gonna pull up the same, the same one I just created, which is right there. See. All right, guys. So I'm all lit up. Um, I just taught you how to create a uh, a session, a recording session. Uh, from 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 start to finish, which means you created one, you created uh 16 audio tracks, eight bus tracks. Or ox tracks, as you would say. It's my daughter in the background. And one master track. And everybody know what the master track is used for. If not, I'll explain that in some more videos. And then I also taught you how to create your own template. If you wanna um, if you wanna just go off that. If you wanna just go off this uh this layout. Or if you have, you know what I'm saying, any other artists, you know they, they got a uh, they like a singing artist, they gotta use like eight eight uh vocal tracks. To record one chorus, then they gotta use like thirteen other vocal tracks. You know, you can create your own. I taught you how to do that too as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you. Subscribe. Um, if you have any other questions, once again, make sure you uh, leave any comments. Uh, feel free to write in any comments. Uh, feel free to to let me know if you need any help on anything. Uh, I mix, I mix, master, uh, produce. Uh, so yeah, hit me up. Peace.